G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about we're going to learn how to do a simple composite of render layers, render passes um, into Nuke. Um, this is a pretty basic setup just to to do the basics such as diffuse reflection, specular, and everything. I made a very dirty scene up just to try and get as much materials in there as I can. Um, we're going to and these are all everything was made in uh, Maya and Mental Ray. Um, nothing was made in Octane or rendered in Octane as Octane Render does not support these type of passes yet. So don't get confused. Um, so uh, the skill set is to pretty much know the basics workflow within merging with a nuke, the basics such as searching, connecting up. If you can do a, if you can slap together a composite of different render elements, just RGB and everything, then you're set to go. Like at least you've at least used Nuke and completed projects with Nuke at the bare basics. So let's start a new scene up, and always save your work. You never want to do do some work on a uh, thing and never save it. So first, let's just get a let's get our EXR out, which I'll upload. As you can see here. Um, also, let's change the project settings to. 720 always do your always change your project settings alright so how is our workflow going to be so let's first start off with getting the shuffle node out well actually let's first see the type of render layers we have here so layered let's get a layered contact sheet out Sorry if it's lagging, I'm also rendering a 4K YouTube, um, a 4K slideshow with three pictures I rendered at 4K. It's a massive pain in the ass, even with my computer rig. Alright, so here we have AO, Diffuse, um, Speckler, and reflection, Refraction. Um, we don't need Indirect or Direct. Um, it's proved to be unnecessary. But uh, yes, we're going to merge all of these into one single image. I select this EXR here, however, we'll have control of the reflection, specular, and the fuse elements within that. So we just so we're not limited to just one big uh, color channel. That's the main goal of every visual effects house. You want to see well everything you see within Nuke. The director could say, "Oh, I want this to be more more spe specular. I want this to have less reflection." And then you think to yourself, oh, how the hell are we going to do this? And this is the way to do it. So let's get the layering right. So you get an elbow out and put that under your scene. And next we will want to get a shuffle out. A shuffle node, as you should know, is a node that separates your different colored channels. Could be RGB, could be red, could be blue. You could turn the red off, turn the alpha off, uh, convert all the RGB into alpha, and only have an alpha channel. Let's just say you want to get rid of your alpha channel as a whole, just put that to zero. And you can also access your different um, rendering channels, and it all could be depth, motion, masking, especially masking, um, and everything. It's very useful once you get your head around it. So let's just get a shuffle node in, and let's call this diffuse. Um, next, we are going to select Diffuse and click on Diffuse here. And it should. So next, we want to press an M for Merge. However, we are not going to merge anything on top. This is just to separate it from the others. So, we are then going to put another dot in. Elbow. We're going to get another shuffle out. Connect that up, and we're also we're going to do a refraction. Let's put a refraction in, and let's merge this up, and obviously change the refraction to refraction. Never forget that. You'll be scratching your head thinking, "What the hell?" So diffuse refraction. It's coming together. The the pieces are coming together. Let's get another dot point here. Let's get a shuffle out. We're going to call this refract Reflection. I'm going to connect that up. Change it to Reflection. 
and we're going to control select both press N now if we go down, down the chain it all follows into all the render layers follows now why are we doing this this pretty much makes a duplicate of the EXR but once we do a duplicate we're also putting a shuffle in to just separate that certain color channel the RGB color channel and we then put it into the merge that's why that it's very useful the elbow pretty much makes a duplicate it's so useful um, next is the specular not much in the specular channel however it, it helps I guess whoa not that one oh lol put a shuffle in I wrote sh specular in there let's put a shuffle in and that's called cool, a specular and let's also merge this too make sure you get your A, bi a, a pipe and B pipes correct this is the background and these are the elements and that's specular let's see all of these are correct and all of these are correct last but not least is the AO contact shadows makes a big difference um, I didn't put any I'd use a HDRI for this not a um, sun so there's no shadow within it so no use putting a shadow in there AO and let's change this to multiply I'm happy with the over Um, I guess whatever looks best, but I'm just going to keep it to over for now. Okay, so now that we have these here, we can now go to each one and put grades, color corrections and everything. I'm just going to do a grade just since we're short on time and you're probably watching this in your... Um, uni class or TAFE class, whatever it is, trying to get shortcuts, which I don't, I don't, I'm not judging. So let's just go to the grade, and what can we do with grading? All right, let's let's just change on some parameters and see what we. So let's just make this a bit more darker. Let's also put a saturation in. And as you can see, that's sort of. Kind of changes it. Next, hang on. Yeah. Next, let's put a grade in for the refraction. So the refraction, we want to try and bring out the refraction out, but without oversaturating it. Yeah, looks good. Let's put a grade in for the reflection. Pop it out a bit. That's pretty good. Specular, not much with specular again, but you know. Focus on that glint up there. Pretty good. And let's ch let's just change this to AO. Save your work. Grade now with the AO. This is not what you, that's. This is not what you want. That's not what you want. So let's just make this dark, but not too dark. Todar. If you get that reference, then fan. Not too much. Sweet. Alright, so now let's give this a little bit of color. Let's, you know, make this, give it some, 
to give it some life. So overall, the grey, this is this grey is going to affect the whole entire image. So let's just uh, some slight changes. Let's get a color correction. Let's get saturation in. Punch it out, really punch it out, make it vivid, disgustingly vivid. Disgusting to the point where Electro will say, what the hell are you doing? Now, this is this, this grade is to change the color corrections. This, this next grade is to change the... Oh, shit. Change the actual color. Because I want this to look bluish. I want to have it like a. I want it to be. I want the this grey to give it a a color profile. Give it a nice blue tinge to it, please. Yeah. So that's pretty much done. Um, as you can see, we all have a. Have your all your render layers here, all merging here. Works out well. We've coloured it. If we were to compare each one, a lot more colour, a lot more depth to each render layer, and that's pretty much the gist of it. You can add your own in, such as you know depth of field, motion blur. I might do those again in another tutorial, but that's pretty much how you do it. Um, there's a different way to do it to separate, to get each different object and have its own uh, diffuse reflection. Everything um, you could do this with just we could duplicate the shit out of it and just put everything on an ID pass. I might do that uh, um, in the next tutorial, but my time is pretty pressed. Um, anyway, I'll be uploading a 4K uh, video, a two-minute 4K video on some render la renders I did in Octane. It's been a massive bitch to do since it's 4K, but I think the workaround I did it was very uh, different. So I think I need to do a different, you know, sort of work around to do 4k that's just the way I did it um, and also be doing a rant on the the current disdain to have CGI within Star Wars that'll be an interesting video to make anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you next time